Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Step back to high plank. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, exhale here. Let's lift the right leg up for three-legged dog. Nice deep stretch. And we'll flip the dog, rolling the right leg up and over. Release the foot onto the mat. Drop the head. Open the chest. Holding. Three, two, one. Go ahead and release out of it carefully. Now listen closely. We're going to keep that right leg active here. Stepping the right leg through the body. Wild thing. Open up that left arm. Holding for five, four, three, two, one. And release carefully. Send that right leg back to three-legged dog. And drop the foot to the mat. Left leg, three-legged dog. Nice stretch. And then flip the dog. Just like you did on the other side. Open up the front body. Lift the hips. And reversing out of it carefully. Extend that right leg as we bring the left leg, I'm sorry, I said right leg, but left leg under and through for wild thing holding. Five, four, three, two, one, and release. Step back one last time with three legged dog and release down, back to downward dog. Sink into it, stretch it out here. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, let the he heels bend the knees. Step forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep the arms up. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Step back to high plank. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Okay, now we're going to add on. So let's step the right foot forward to our warrior one. Spin the back heel down, bring those arms up. We'll open to a warrior two. Sink into that right knee. Gaze forward. Let's reverse our warrior. Come back to warrior two. And we'll stick you in a side angle. Let's straighten the right leg. Reach to those right fingers. Triangle. Come back up through center. Sink back into that right knee. Now we'll go into side angle. Just prepping the body here. Let's add on a half bind with that left arm. Maybe fingers come to the hip crease. Maybe full bind. Right arm reaches underneath to hook those fingertips. Wherever you are in your practice today is perfect. One more breath. Gently release the bind, place the palms, step the right foot back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, exhale. Stepping the left foot forward. Warrior one. Finding your warrior one before you try to jump into warrior two. Opening, warrior two. Sink into that left knee. Triangle. 
straighten the left leg, reach through the fingers, tilt the arms. Using that core strength, drag yourself back to center, back into warrior two, side angle. Left elbow to the knee, right arm comes up. And taking your, the bind of your choice or staying right here, half bind, full bind. Again, whatever feels best in your body today. One more breath. Gently releasing out of the bind. Place the palms to the mat, step on back. And chaturanga flow through it. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward dog. Cleansing breath here, downward dog. Let's step the right foot forward for crescent lunge. Now give yourself plenty of space out in front of you. If you need to scoot back a little bit, you can. Arms come up. I'm sure you guessed it, but we're shifting forward into warrior three, balancing posture. Onto that right leg, lifting the left leg, keeping the hips square to the mat, arms with those ears. Take a breath. Core is tight, protecting the back. We're going to add on some arms here with a shoulder rinse. Interlace the fingers, pull those shoulders back for five, four, Three, two, one. We're going to release the fingers to the mat. Keep that left leg raised. Half moon. If you can straighten the right leg, go ahead and do so. If not, just keep the knee softened. Right finger stay down as left arm opens. Main thing is rolling that left hip nice and open so the hips are stacked. Front body is open. Holding. One more breath. Going to release the left hand down, square off that left hip, step that left foot back. Here we are back in our crescent lunge. We're going to do an open twist, so keep the left palm down, right arm opens. And let's add on a bind here with that right arm. Lots of opening through the shoulders today. Final breath. Releasing the bind first, place the palms, step the right foot back, and we'll chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog, and exhale, downward dog. Inhale, exhale, let it go. Left side, see if I can remember what we did. Step the left foot forward, crescent lunge, giving yourself plenty of space to shift forward. When you're ready, prepare and shift onto that left leg. Arms with the ears, right hip square towards the mat, core is engaged, back is protected. Breathe. Adding on the shoulder rinse, interlace the fingers, open through the chest. There might be a slight arch in the back now, which is fine as long as that Core is engaged, Uddiyana Bandha, belly button to the spine. One more breath here. And we'll go and release the fingertips to the mat, keeping that right leg raised. Left fingertips down. Peel open that right hip. Open up the right arm. Straighten the left leg. If you can, if not, soften the knee. Folding. Breathing. One more breath. Feel that strength. Release the right hand. Let's come back to our crescent lunge. So stepping the right foot back. Right hand underneath the right shoulder. Left arm opens. Keep those legs strong. This is the foundation of the pose, the legs. Adding on that half bind through the top arm. breath. And release the 
bind. Place the palms, step back, and we'll chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. And exhale back, downward dog. And inhale, exhale. Let's drop the knees into a child's pose. Sink the hips, forehead to the mat. shift into a peak posture here. I feel like this is a good time for us in this practice today to do a little bit of a back bend. We kind of already opened our back up with those upper dogs and then the shoulder rinse when you were in warrior three. So coming onto the knees we're going to do a camel pose. <clears throat> Place the hands at the hips very gently even the low back is a good place for those hands or palms. Very gently press the hips forward. As you send the hips forward, take the gaze up. Send the heart up high, lift out of that low back. Just go to your degree. Continue to walk the gaze down. shoulder head nice and open. Again, hand on the wall. For balance, begin to kick into that right hand, creating the back bend and opening the chest. Your goal is to send the toes as high as you can before you start to tilt forward. Whoa, good job. Try again. Put your hand on the wall. All right, I'm going to show from using no wall, but you, I want you to use the wall. Okay, you're going to be Job. We're holding here for about 10 more seconds. 
taken lots of time to come back into it. It didn't fall out. And we're holding, deepening these last five, four, three, two, one, and three. Gently releasing. I'm going to do this. Good job. And, okay. and Let's try the other side. Reach for that left foot. And if you're holding onto the wall, good job. If not, you're right here with me, middle of the mat. Ooh, that's gonna make it hard. I had to hold on to you to lift myself up. Okay. And we're kicking. Kicking, 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 kick those toes. Open up the left shoulder, arch the back. Take a nice deep inhale, exhale. If you fall out, come right back in. Lots of time. Ten more seconds. And beginning to deepen into these last five, four, three, two, one. And I'm, I'm doing it. Oh. Good job. I still, I still want to do it. Just right here on the wall. We're going to separate the legs nice and wide. I'm going to take a nice deep forward bend here. Extend the arms out. <clears throat> Inhale. Exhale. Begin to hinge at the hips. Flat back as you lower down. Lower, lower, lower. Eventually releasing the hands to the mat. You notice my toes were pointed outward, but I readjusted them once they got down for my knees. <coughs> you won't walk on doing it. Good job. And this is our deep stretch to the backs of the legs. This is just to release all the balancing postures we've done, focusing on that, the leg strength. Try to fold a little bit deeper. We're going to add on a twist here, an open twist. Left palm down, right arm opens towards the sky. <clears throat> if you'd like to add on one more half bind, wrap the right arm behind the back. Gaze is up towards the ceiling, past the right shoulder. Breathe. And let's release the half bind. And begin to release the right arm down. Hey, mommy, look at me. Good job. Neutral spine as we open up the left arm. You're doing like a wild thing. Good job. Ooh. Adding on that half bind at the top. We did so on the other side. Gaze goes past the left shoulder. As long as it feels right on the neck. And releasing out of the bind first. Releasing the hand. All the way down to the mat. Careful, honey. Let's fold a little bit deeper here. Maybe grabbing onto those ankles and rolling the weight towards the toes. One day getting the forehead to touch the mat. Carter, look out, buddy. You're right in line of the camera. And let's go ahead and release. Extend the arms out. Strong back to bring you up. Carter, honey, no, no. Okay, I'm almost done. Inhale and exhale. Bring the feet in. We're going to come on down to a seated position. So if you'd like to just come on down, you can. If you'd like to try to sit down, I was practicing this with my daughter this morning, coming down without using your hands. So it's a little tricky. I like to cross my ankles first and kind of balance myself as I plop onto my glutes. We're going to do a final. Uh, no final shavasana. We're just going to close the practice. I don't know what my son's put on. And bring those hands to the heart center. Good time to close. And together we say Namaste. I am deleted. Alright. Changing the mood here, okay? Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.